Greetings, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. <laughs> Every time someone says greetings, I always think of、uh, these, you know, aliens from outer space. Greetings, Earthlings. <laughs> yeah, take me to your leader. My friend does it as a joke. Greetings. So it makes me laugh. Anyway, greetings, everybody.、Mm. Uh, we're back to talk about a wonderful vacation spot in the world, the Maldives. We call it an island paradise. In day one, we talked about. How it has such beautiful scenery. It's got striking views. You've got lots of beautiful palm trees. The water there is this beautiful turquoise color.、Uh, you could also call it azure. Azure is a word we describe、uh, like sky blue without clouds. If the sky is just without clouds, that's azure blue. And so you'll often hear azure sky, azure waters, azure seas, stuff like that. So it's pretty beautiful. It's got beautiful beaches. Nice white sand, pearly white. I mentioned this yesterday, but I didn't explain fully. We often will refer to our teeth as our pearly whites, and we put an S on that. But here we're using pearly white as an adjective to describe how light the sand is on the beach. There, it's beautiful.、Uh, yeah, it sounds like there's all sorts of stuff to see there,、yeah. and also there's、uh, all sorts of stuff to do there,、uh-huh. as you might expect. And today、uh, we're going to talk. About the hospitality of the Maldivians and some other things you can do there,、mm. and we'd also like to talk about some of the accommodations there and also some of the food. Yummy, yummy, <laughs> yummy!、Uh, that, of course, is one of the best reasons to travel to try different kinds of food in the countries or places that you visit. So let's continue exploring the island paradise of the Maldives. Let's listen to today's lesson now, read in its entirety. Entirety. Maldivians are esteemed for their hospitality, and it's common for island hoppers to be treated to a refreshing coconut drink upon their arrival on each island. This openness has been shaped by the countless travelers who have visited the islands for thousands of years. Stemming from this. Maldivians' unique heritage creates unity among the islanders, which further extends to those who stay in the many luxurious resorts scattered throughout the archipelago. When it comes to accommodation, the Maldives has it all. Wherever you choose to stay, be it a beachfront hotel, a costly overwater villa, or a slightly more affordable guest house, you're sure to find the comforts you desire. Along with a spectacular sunset view, this picturesque sight isn't complete without a delicious dish of fihunu moss, a spicy barbecued fish, or one of the many tasty coconut-based curries made with tuna, a staple of Maldivian cuisine. It's recommended that you top it all off with a glass of raw, a sweet alcoholic drink. Made from the sap of the coconut palm or masala chai, a fragrant tea made with Indian spices. In addition to feasting, you may want to spend some of your time in the Maldives visiting Hukuru Meskii, the country's oldest mosque. Built from coral stone in 1656, the structure is covered with exquisite carvings and decorations throughout. You won't want to miss out on the plentiful opportunities for diving or snorkeling either. Under the Maldives' crystalline seas, you'll find everything from sharks and bright reef fish to manta rays, the gentle giants of the world's oceans. Whatever it is you're looking for in the Maldives, you're sure to satisfy your needs for both adventure and total relaxation in this gorgeous island paradise. Okay, again, we're traveling in our program today as we get ready to endure the long winter here in Taipei. Of course, it's warmer down in Taichung and、uh, Gaoshung during the winter, but up here in Taipei, it can get pretty frosty, really cold up here, really chilly. And of course, a good choice would be to go to the Maldives during the spring break that we're having here in a couple of weeks as the、uh, Chinese New Year approaches. And we did talk about some of the features of the Maldives in our.、Yeah. 
last program, what the、uh, pearly white beaches and the swaying palm trees and stuff、mm-hmm. like that. But today we're going to talk about the accommodation there, where you can stay, and we'll also talk about the food. But in the first paragraph here, we're going to talk about the hospitality of the Maldivians, and they are esteemed for their hospitality. And it's common for island hoppers to be treated to a refreshing coconut drink. Upon their arrival on each island, ooh, I might just go there just for that. Just the coconut drink. It sounds good, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And in this sentence here, we have the word esteem、mm. as a verb, and usually it's、uh, in the be construction to be esteemed for something. That means they are known for this and they are respected for this.、Uh, people talk about this all the time. Oh yeah, you got to go go to the Maldives because the people there are very hospitable.、Mm. They are known for their hospitality. They are esteemed for it. They are respected. They are honored. They are known for this. And、uh, one of the uh, common uh, examples we gave here is to go island hopping, which means you're just going from one island to the other, probably getting on a boat、yeah. for a small fee, and you cross to the other island and check it out, and then you go to another one. You're island hopping, hop, 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 going from one to the other. We also use the term job hopping often when people aren't really very satisfied with their jobs or they want to get、uh, higher and higher salaries. They'll often do something we call job. Hopping, which they stay at a job for a year or two and then move on. So island hoppers, job hoppers. So、uh, it sounds pretty nice that they're greeting these island hoppers with coconut drinks when they arrive. That's nice. This openness has been shaped by the countless travelers who have visited the islands for. Thousands of years. These are old islands. If you're open, or there's an openness to the people, it means they're they're welcoming, they're warm. If you go to a place that's closed, or you feel like there's a closed off society. Uh, they don't talk to you. They don't really look at you. I consider the Taiwanese people to be just about one of the most open、uh, societies that we have in the world. You guys are really friendly, which is nice.、Mm-hmm. And it sounds like they're pretty friendly on these islands in the Maldives as well. So stemming from this, or coming from this, originating from this, or as a result of that, you could say the Maldivians' unique heritage creates unity among the islanders. To stem from something, think of a stem as part of a plant. It comes from that root or the base of the plant. It comes from that. So stemming from this, because of that, they have this unique heritage that creates unity among the islanders. Exactly. So first of all, you've got the hospitality, rather,、mm-hmm. of the Maldivians themselves. They're just used to people coming to visit, and、uh, people have come to visit there for centuries, so、mm-hmm. they're used to that. And then stemming from that, as a Result of that, they also have this unique heritage, which means their traditions and what sort of、uh, things have come from previous generations,、uh-huh. and some traditions and things that they've maintained. And that is heritage, and so they have this unity from the people or among the people.、Uh, they all are, you know, sort of like、uh, all for one and one for all. We're all together. We're all one big happy family. And so, because of that, that extends to those who stay in the many luxurious resorts. Resorts scattered throughout the archipelago. So yes, they're one big happy family, and when you're there, you feel that way. So of course, that's why it、uh, is such a great experience to stay in one of their luxurious resorts, which are scattered throughout this group of islands. Luxurious means it's pretty fancy. Okay, it's not really a cheap little、uh, dingy hotel that's next to the train station <laughs> that you can stay in for two hundred and ten dollars a night or something like that with the bed. Sheets that haven't been changed Ooh, in weeks,、gross. and roaches on the floor and stuff like that. No, 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 no. This place is luxurious. <laughs> It's got great furnishings, very nicely decorated rooms that are comfortable with with <laughs> air conditioning. And there's probably a sauna and a jacuzzi and the pool and several restaurants and、uh-huh. people who are come and give you a massage and stuff like that.、Oh, It's like being on paradise on Earth. Yeah, well, that's what they're calling it—an island paradise. I wanted to mention, and I forgot. Got to in the day one、uh, is paradise can be an adjective, but it can be a noun too. So we're using it as a noun, but I use it as an adjective all the time. Oh, it's paradise here!、Mm. So just so you know. So let's move on to the next paragraph when it comes to accommodation. 
the Maldives has it all.、Uh, this is a great sentence、uh, to study a little bit of grammar here. Let's look first at accommodation. Accommodation is a place where you stay. A lot of times, your accommodations will also feature、uh, food. So there will be restaurants, perhaps in your hotel. So when it comes to accommodation, the Maldives has it all. Look at that. Maldives is plural,、mm. but our verb is for a singular noun. What's、mm. going on?、Mm. It's because the Maldives refers to one. Country and not to all the islands. The islands make up the country, so we're using the singular verb there. Notice that、right. the country of the Maldives has it all. So basically, country、yeah. there is the subject of this sentence. And wherever you choose to stay, be it a beachfront hotel, a costly overwater villa, or a slightly more affordable guest house, you are sure to find the comforts you desire. Along with a spectacular sunset view. So here, this sentence here begins with the phrase. Uh, whatever or wherever you choose to stay, it doesn't really matter where you're going to stay. It's going to be a beachfront hotel or an overwater villa or a guest house. No matter where you stay,、yeah. it's going to be a great、uh, place to stay. You'll find、uh, lots of comforts, and also you'll get a spectacular sunset view. Let's talk about some of these different kinds of accommodations before we take a break. Here, we've got a beachfront hotel. Beachfront just means it's a hotel that is right on the beach. And probably every room is facing the beach, so、mm-hmm. when you wake up, you can see the sunrise or the sunset, whichever direction the hotel faces. And then we've got this、uh, something called overwater villa. A、uh-huh. villa that's kind of like a, a resort, like with single units, right? But they'll be actually over the water or something. Oh, nice!、So、that might be、uh, interesting. But it does say they are costly, which means they're kind of expensive. But if you're on a tight budget, you could stay at a guest house, which Is where the backpackers will probably all be staying、uh, because they're cheaper and they don't have、uh, the luxury accommodations. But you know they're still nice places. They serve some food and you can talk to other travelers and stuff like that. Yeah, guest house is usually a private house where they have maybe an extra room or two for guests to stay. So that's a cheaper way to travel. But whatever you choose, you're sure to find the comfort you desire, along with a spectacular sunset view. Oh, I love good sun. Sunsets. I grew up in Arizona. We have some of the best sunsets in the world. So when I got here, I started missing sunsets. And New York doesn't have many sunsets. Can't see them too、no. well there. But in any case, yes. If you miss sunsets and you want to see a great sunset that is really a spectacle to look at, a、yeah. really great sight for your eyes, then the Maldives is the place for you for those spectacular sunsets. Okay, that brings us to the halfway point of our lesson for today. Here comes our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 我们今天继续来看看马尔蒂夫这个地方。首先来看到第一个句子提到 ，Maldivians are esteemed for their hospitality, and it's common for island hoppers to be treated to a refreshing coconut drink upon their arrival on each island. 在这里提到了 esteem， 在当作动词，有尊重、尊敬的意思。不过，更常用的是用来当作名词。如果我说 I have great esteem for his quick decision， 代表着呢，就是我对于他的果断呢，非常的敬佩。或者我们说 hold somebody in high esteem， 也就是非常尊敬某人的意思。不过呢，马尔蒂夫人是因为他们的 hospitality， 他们的好客，然后呢受到大家的推崇。所以如果你来这里的岛屿间呢，来走跳的人，你就可以被这样子的 a refreshing drink 来招待。Refreshing 形容词就代表着提神的、清凉的意思。接着，同样一段的中间的句子提到 ，Stemming from this, Maldivian's unique heritage creates unity among the islanders, which further extends to those who stay in the many luxurious resorts scattered throughout the archipelago. 
。在这里提到的 stem from 解释成为起源于哪里。正因为呢，有非常多人到这里来，他们其实很好客。正因如此呢，马尔蒂夫人的独特传统就创造出他们岛上居民是相当和谐一致。我们来看看这个 heritage 这个字，解释成为传统或者是先人所遗留下来的东西。我们常常说 to preserve our national heritage， 就是代表着要保存自己的民族遗产。A unity 则是有和谐一致的意思。不仅在岛上这样子，甚至 extends to 扩及到那些呢待在岛上里面来度假的游客。我们要注意一下这里的 luxurious resorts。resorts 指的呢就是这些旅游胜地，后面搭配着 scattered。V P P 表被动，表示是被散布在这些岛屿当中的旅游胜地。接着，我们来看到第二段的第二个句子提到 ：Wherever you choose to stay, be it a beachfront hotel, a costly overwater villa, or a slightly more affordable guest house, you are sure to find the comforts you desire. Along with a spectacular sunset view, 在这里提到的 be it， 其实呢，它是 whether it be 或者是 whether it might be 的倒装形态，中文翻译成为不论是。所以不管呢，是这种 beachfront hotel。滨海的饭店，或者是 villa 水上的别墅，又或者是一般的民宿，我们称之为 guest house， 你都可以找到呢你想要有的舒适感觉，而且陪伴着 along with 有这种非常壮观的日落景色。形容词 spectacular 就是有壮观的意思。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We're talking about the Maldives, and this particular lesson today,、uh, we're focusing in on things you can expect as a tourist, which is kind of fun. They really are hospitable. There's a lot of hospitality. Hospitable is the adjective form of this noun, hospitality.、Uh, there's a lot of hospitality in the Maldives, and you're sure to be treated with a great coconut drink, which sounds really yummy right now.、Mm-hmm. They're very friendly and open there, so that's kind of fun to look forward to. You've also got some great choices of accommodation. You can stay at a beachfront hotel that's right on the beach, so you just walk out of your room and there you are. Or you could stay at a really expensive, or we're using the word costly, overwater villa. Sounds nice. Or maybe if you want to save some money, you could stay at a cheaper, more affordable guest house. But regardless of where you choose to stay, you're going to see a spectacular sunset view when you get there, which is great. Indeed. So, of course, you can expect to see this kind of picturesque sight.、Uh, picturesque here just means it kind of looks like a picture,、yeah. right? It's a、uh, very quaint,、uh, kind of、uh, interesting to look、mm. at.、Uh, I personally find the、uh, countryside of Hualien County very picturesque.、Uh, some people, of course, like the mountains and the sea there in Hualien, but I kind of like the、uh, inside area there. I find it very picturesque with all the roads and the farmhouses. And stuff like that, but here、mm-hmm. this is a picturesque scene、mm-hmm. that would not com- be complete without some kind of food. Okay, so yeah, if you're watching the sunset, you might be thinking, "Hmm, something good to eat would go with this sunset really well. Maybe some nice little local dish and a local drink." For example, they've got a delicious dish of fihunumas. 
That's their name for it, of course. It's a spicy barbecued fish. I was telling Tom, I've never heard of barbecued fish. That sounds really weird. Grilled fish, yeah, but barbecue barbecue refers to kind of that sweet, kind of spicy sauce. Sometimes that you put on meat, pork, beef, usually even chicken. But this is barbecued fish, or you might prefer one of their. Coconut-based curries. Curries are very popular here, as、uh, they use a lot of curries in Japan, and people here love Japanese food. But this is a coconut-based curry. It sounds more like a Thai dish, you know, something from Thailand. Yeah, Thai food has those、uh, curries that have coconut in them. They're very tasty. This one's made with tuna, though,、Ooh. which is fish. I don't want curry with fish. I'm sorry, that sounds gross to me. But you know, you might be into that yourself. It's they're called. Calling tuna here, which is a fish, a staple of Maldivian cuisine, which means it's really, really important. It's one of the basic things in their diet, in their cuisine. Their type of food is called their cuisine. Oh, that's interesting. So they must have a lot of tuna that they can fish. In the waters there, I didn't know there were tuna in the Indian Ocean.、Hmm. Yeah, like here in Taiwan, of course,、uh, rice and noodles is a staple、yeah. of the local diet, whereas bread and potatoes、Wheat. is a staple、yeah. in、uh, American food. Oh, we love potatoes and bread, don't we? <laughs> Absolutely. And so, yes, they eat a lot of tuna there, as you might expect. Of course, it's an island nation right by the ocean there,、right. so they're probably catching tuna all the time. And it's recommended that you top it all off with a glass. Of ra, and what is that? Well, it's a sweet alcoholic drink made from the sap of the coconut palm, or you could also have masala chai, which is a fragrant tea made with Indian spices.、Mm. So these are some examples of drinks. There,、uh, you could top it off with something. To top something off here, as a phrase, just means、uh, you get to enjoy that thing along with the、uh, food. That's、it's, the best part of the whole meal to top it off. To top it off, right?、Yeah. And, Uh, of course, you can have the drink there. Ra, of course, is、uh, alcoholic. So if you don't、uh, like to drink、uh, whiskey or wine or、uh, beer and stuff like that, maybe you should stay away from this because it's alcoholic. Although it is sweet, and it's from the sap of the coconut palm. Sap is like a sort of juice that comes out of a tree. The liquid, yeah. Like maple sap, for、yeah. example, is made into maple syrup、Which、later on、love. after heating it and adding some spices and we stuff. We put that on pancakes. We do maple、yes. syrup. From the sap of a maple tree, and also we've got masala chai, which is、uh, tea, which is very fragrant, which means、uh, when you smell it, it has all sorts of aromas and stuff,、mm-hmm. and that's from Indian spices, or at least it includes them.、Mm-hmm. So, in addition to feasting, eating very well, you may want to spend some of your time in the Maldives visiting. Hukuru Miskii, the country's oldest mosque. We're guessing at the pronunciation, guys. We don't speak that language.、Mm. So a mosque, guys, is where a Muslim would go to worship. So it's kind of you would say that's their church, right? They call、mm. it their mosque. That's where they worship for the Islam religion. So built from coral stone back in 1656, a long time ago, the structure is covered with exquisite carvings and decorations. Throughout, if you carve something, you use a sharp instrument and you you dig into wood or stone and you make beautiful decorations that way. It's exquisite just means glorious, beautiful, so so beautiful. Exquisite also gives me that idea that it's、um, delicate, that they've used a lot of time and work. So decorations, of course, are things that make a place look more beautiful. For example, if you want to decorate your apartment, you might buy some.、Uh, Uh, pretty rugs and pillows and things like that. So they've got decorations throughout that mosque that are pretty amazing. Oh, that reminds me, I still need to put up my Chinese New Year decorations to get into the spirit、yes. of the holidays. Indeed. And also, of course, a lot of people go to the Maldives for outdoor activities, and you won't want to miss out on the plentiful opportunities for diving or snorkeling、mm. either. So these are plentiful opportunities, lots of chances. To enjoy diving or snorkeling, diving is if you actually have the equipment. Scuba、uh, diving, scuba diving, where、yeah. you can breathe air underwater. Snorkeling is just you have the tube and you're kind of on the top of the water. So you don't want to miss out on these. 
opportunities. To miss out on something means you miss the opportunity, and then you will regret it later. So you don't want to miss out on all the wonderful snacks in the night markets in Taiwan, for example. If you come to visit, you don't want to miss out on that. Do not pass up that opportunity. Yeah. So under the Maldives' crystalline seas, you'll find everything from sharks and bright reef fish to manta rays. They are called the gentle giants of the world's oceans. Crystalline、uh, it comes from the word crystal, of course. Crystalline is an adjective. It just means it seems like crystal, which gives you this idea that the water is very clean, very clear. You can see through it.、Uh, crystalline.、Uh, Tom was telling me has three pronunciations.、Uh, crystalline is number one. Crystalline is number two, and crystalline is number three. Try crystalline. I、That's, like crystalline myself, but the dictionary think... the dictionary did give me three pronunciations、yeah. there.、Crystalline. I just wanted to make sure.、Mm -hmm. So yes, indeed, under the crystalline seas, you'll find everything from various kinds of sea life. Which of course we talked about manta rays here,、yeah. and whatever it is you're looking for in the Maldives, you're sure to satisfy your needs for both adventure and total relaxation in this gorgeous island paradise. Whatever it is you're looking for, no matter what you're looking for, you're sure to find it there. It will satisfy your needs if you like adventure. Uh, going scuba diving and stuff like that, or if you like relaxation at one of the results, you certainly will be satisfied there. Although、uh, I was,、uh, of course,、uh, kind of disappointed that、uh, Islam took over from Buddhism there. So I like to go to Buddhist temples because of the art in them and stuff like、uh -huh. that. So I kind of、uh, am disappointed there. But still, mosques are wonderful places to check out too. They've got all that art and carving stuff. So maybe I'll reconsider.、Uh -huh. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Here comes our Chinese teacher. 接着我们来看到第三段呢，在这里要介绍他们非常古老的清真寺。第三段第二个句子提到 ，built from coral stone in 1656, the structure is covered with exquisite carvings and decorations throughout. 在这里呢，讲到这样的清真寺的建筑物呢，是在一六五六年由这些珊瑚石。Coral stone 所建造而成，不要忘记这里的 built V P P 表被动，而呢，它上面覆盖着 be covered with 这些精美的雕刻，还有装饰品 exquisite， 也就是有精美的、精致的意思。而 throughout 在这里当做是副词，解释成为处处的意思。后面的句子提到。You won't want to miss out on the plentiful opportunities for diving or snorkeling either. 来到这里很重要的是，你绝对也不会想要错过这样的机会。我们常常提到 miss out， 也就是呢有错过这些呢获得乐趣的机会。举例来说 ，If I don't go to the party, I shall feel I'm missing out. 如果我不去参加宴会的话，我一定会觉得自己损失很大。所以，如果讲到 miss out on something， 就是代表错过了某个事件的意思。所以呢，千万不要错过 diving 潜水或者是 snorkeling 浮潜的机会。这段的最后一句 ，Whatever it is you are looking for in the Maldives, you are sure to satisfy your needs for both adventure and total relaxation in this gorgeous island paradise. 不管你在这个岛屿上面期待的是什么，你一定可以 satisfy your needs， 也就是满足你的需求。不管你想要冒险 adventure， 或想要放松 relaxation， 在这里都找得到。OK， 以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. We thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for listening to our program, and we certainly hope that you enjoy your holiday if you go to the Maldives during the upcoming spring holiday break. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.